How are you doing? This is Goran Rista here with Goran Grooves. And what I've got here today are handy drums. These are very simple to use. Uh, Mixed ready, great sounding, natural sounding uh, virtual drums. They're available in VST2, VST3, AAX, audio units, and as standalone apps for both uh, Mac OS and Windows systems. So I'm going to do a little demo, show you kind of what they do, um, and yeah, how they, what they sound like. Uh, let's see, I think the best is to put a little demo groove. So I just go into the MIDI, MIDI uh, browser. That's a new actually feature for the version two. MIDI browser, pick what I want. Hit play and it's now playing a little uh, demo uh, groove. So these are all MIDI loops that are running through the, through the plugin, which are creating the audio. And so when that plays, if I'm happy with uh, one loop or uh, uh, feel or whatever I want, I can just take that and drag it to my DAW. Right now, we're running as a standalone app, so we cannot drag it to the DAW, but you can just go like this and it gives you the same kind of idea. So yeah. We can go back to the mixer. You see right here. We can solo items. Oh, actually, you them solo them. So yeah, we can mute, we can mute any channel. We can uh, quickly disable it. We can solo any number of uh, tracks and unsolo them. We have access to individual items or individual instruments, uh, percussion as well. We can pan them left to right. Uh, swap the panning from left to right to right to left or make a mono with a simple click. Uh, we can audition them like this. And there's a way to audition them here as well. This is where the mapping happens. And we can uh, map in highway we want. We can map, uh, we can map um, one drum to multiple keys. Or we can just have one key for, for each drum. And one cool thing is that, oh, my mouse is all over the place. Uh, is that one cool thing is uh, how we actually can go about mapping, which is like you, we hit a, a learn button and we can hit any key and it will automatically get assigned to that key. Super, super easy. We can start blank. How long we do that? We'll go blank. Now nothing is mapped. And let me show you how how easy it is to map things. So nothing is mapped right now, nothing is making any sound. I'm gonna just hit one uh, for the kick drum and I'm gonna hit a note and boom, it's mapped now to the kick drum. I can do the same to the snare. Second one, and now it's mapped to the snare. Cross stick, same thing. So it happens very, very easy. And uh, let me show you this. This is a very cool trick. Uh, we got variable hi-hats, which can go from the right, uh, where are we? Here, variable hi-hats that can go from uh, basically tightly uh, closed to fully open on only two nodes. One for tip of the hi-hat, one for the edge. And we use control or CC4 to alter between that. I'm gonna show you a quick intro, I mean, quick uh, demo how that works. So let's say we put a hi-hat right here. This is the tip. This is the edge. All right, and the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm going to uh, assign, I go learn MIDI CC. I will assign this knob to be the controller of these two hi-hats. So, as I'm playing, you can hear it's a closed hi-hat. And as I'm turning this knob, they're becoming more and more open until they are fully open. And I can just close it, like a real hi-hat. And it's only on two notes. Other plugins that will have like 12 different notes. This is all, everything is accomplished on two notes. You have basically six articulations on, on, the, on the edge and six on the tip. 
and they all have round robins, they have uh, multiple velocity levels, and it's super, super easy. So if you have a groove that runs, um, there's a hi-hat, you can just create a normal closed hi-hat groove, and then afterwards just like all, you know, change the openness of the hi-hat, tweak it a little bit. And yeah, so that's it. And when we can save the presets when we're done with them, we can save them or just recall the default mapping, which brings everything back how it was, and you know, we can use existing loops or create our own. So the idea is basically, you open up your DAW, you you create a, a MIDI track or instrument track depending on the DAW. You pop one of these, and you can close it right away and start working on your on your on your on your drum track. You can either put in an existing drum loops or create your own, but you don't have to spend hours getting just the kick drum ready or getting just the snare drum ready. Everything is ready to go. If you want to tweak it more, you can do it. You can put effects, you can put a you know, reverb or EQ it more or, or, or uh, compress it or whatever, but it's ready to go as it is. And it sounds like a natural kit. So very easy, very affordable. And there you have it.